with another flashlight review. You can see another green case. Pop this up. In. This one's a little different than most of them. This one is just IR, it's infrared. The IR850. This is a fast fire. Zoomable lens. You can kind of, yeah, you can pick it up on the camera, but yeah, you, you can kind of see it and say without night vision or something, this isn't going to do you a whole lot of good, but in the box you get battery tube for the 18650, which does come with the battery. You get single charger, the pressure switch, and you also get a battery sled or three AAA batteries. And it doesn't say it on the site. Let me unscrew this. There we go. I found you can also use the 21700 batteries. These fit in there and work great. But it seems pretty durable. The threads are good on it. It's got, it looks to be brass Contact on the rear, spring loaded. Build quality looks real good on it. Threads are smooth. It's all low ring sealed. I have been using this one, playing with it and just kind of checking it out. I've got an older, what is it, Gen 1 Plus night vision scope that I ran, with, ran it with and it worked worked pretty good. Yeah, if you guys are needing something, I know a lot of the night vision scopes and stuff, the illuminators on them just, they kind of suck. And so if you're needing, you know, some extra light, you know, something that'll, let me say, you can either zoom it out for spot or you can pull it back for flood, depending on how far away you're shooting. Say, so this does a good job of it. But let's go over and we'll get some beam shots and stuff. As soon as it gets dark, we'll get out and see how see how that works. Trying to hold the camera and zoom the light and hold the camera up to the night vision. And yeah, should be fun. Anyway, guys, stick around. We'll get right to it. All right, guys, gonna try and give you some night shots here. Kind of hard to do. I'm trying to hold the camera up against the night vision scope. But just give you a couple beam shots here. It's the, say this thing is insanely bright. You can see the beam there, and it's got a lot of spill around the edges. And you can definitely make out that tree line over there is about 200, 250 yards away. Let me zoom it out. It's just putting out so much. It's hard to get it to focus. Let's see. Slowly zooming it in. You can see the flood on it as I'm zooming it, you know, in. Zoom in a little more. There we go. You can see the pattern of the LED, the shape of it. Try to move it around a little for you here. There we go. That tree line there is really close to 300. Let's see, it's, it's lighting it up pretty good. Yeah, the camera's not really doing it justice. I can look through the night vision scope and see everything really well. Just the camera tries to correct for everything and just doesn't do a real good job of it. Here, let me turn it back off, try and center the phone again. I think you get you guys get the idea. So it puts out a ton of light. 
if you got a any kind of night vision need something you know a little extra reach out there some it's a definitely a great option for it i've been using it quite a bit on mine and here, let me turn the illuminator on this that's on the built into the side of the night vision kind of see it 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 works okay it just kind of washes everything out i'm not really sure if there's something wrong with it or what this is an older uh firefield night vision scope and it's worked pretty decent haven't really had any problems with it it you know it's definitely a budget one you can get it for a few hundred bucks off amazon but it's been a decent scope Anyway, guys, yeah, if you, say if you got some night vision, definitely check out this illuminator. I say it'll it'll definitely light it up for you. Get another shot of it. There we go. That's pretty good. All right, guys. Link will be down in the description, like normal. If you got any questions or comments, you know where to put them. Take it easy, guys. Later.